Hey, welcome back, you stupid idiots. You dumbasses. Are you, <laughs> are you, you doing the are you doing our intro? Yeah. I'm trying to remember what you say. Hey, what's up? You 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 not smart people. Welcome to another uh, episode of our stupid reactions. I'm I'm Rick. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex feeds, of course. <laughs> and I'm Zach. It's all become one word. I know. I can never understand you. Hey, welcome I'm welcome to Rex feeds, of course. <laughs> and then even when you do the, like, don't forget to subscribe to the ding. Like, I, I probably said it happen. 10 billion times. So, anyways, welcome back, guys. Um, Zach, uh, I told him to watch this film that you're seeing in the title of, uh, and he watched it uh, apparently right away. <laughs> I did. I was like, I'm not gonna wait three weeks or a month this time. Uh, so he watched Minal Murari, Murali, uh, the 2021 film. If you haven't seen Rick and I's review, you can go watch that. We did it back in December uh, when the film uh, came out, so you can give that a watch. But I knew Zach would like this film. Uh, Zach is extremely into superheroes; always has been. He's a big his his child's name is Clark. So I could, uh, that'll tell you what his favorite uh, uh, favorite superhero is, and his wife's name is Lois. So nope. Oh, oh well, not that's that not one. true. That's I not tried true. to get her to change it, but she wouldn't. <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, not Rick. Uh, Zach watched <laughs> its habit. Sorry, uh, Minal Mual. Well, you know what it is. Uh, directed by Basil Joseph, starring Tavino Thomas and Guru. Uh, I can't say the Something last name. Yeah, I can't say the last name. But, uh, so, yeah, if you haven't watched it, obviously this is going to be kind of a spoiler review. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on Netflix and then come back. Zach, what did you think? Well, it's not what I think. It's what I know. I know <laughs> this is a great movie. I know this is a great It's not even a thought. There's mm -hmm. no other. It's, it's a, it's a well-done movie. Mm -hmm. It's a, an original superhero movie, mm -hmm. like, like originally done. Um, not just an original character, but like a rigid, like a, the way that it was, I mean, it's your typical origin story, but it, the way it was done, the way that, um, the characters were, was just very original. Uh, and I love this as a superhero fanatic. Um, it hit all the, the check marks and did its own thing at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Let's see. You didn't like it. So, um, it was terrible. <laughs> Uh, it, you know, what's funny is that it was released December 16th, not on Netflix, but like on a theater kind of, yeah. which was the day before Spider-Man was released. So like two superhero movies. Um, now I know it, it doesn't have Marvel money. So mm. the budget, uh, I mean, it's different, no, but it's nowhere better, near, but it's got more money than sci-fi movies, like the mm. movies on the sci-fi channel mm. and the CGI. I mean, there were some cheesy moments, but, uh -huh. um, it was, there was some, yeah, I have a little, I mean, overall, I love the movie. There's some things that are like, eh, it's a little dragged out. I mean, especially growing up with movies, you know, the guy gets his costume, like, you know, it's still in the first act. This guy didn't get it till the very end. Um, oh, yeah. But it worked. You know, yeah. it, it, it didn't ruin it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this you can't even really compare the budgets of a, a big superhero film in this film. This is, film is like, it's literally not even what they pay for their like marketing i mean they're like <laughs> but it was done i mean still like the cinematography the music i like um, that it was like a it was more of just a, a a village story that happened to have some superhero elements and i think that's beautiful yeah. they weren't trying to make a superhero movie it was just no. about their their lives and what goes on in the village and people just happen to be struck by lightning yeah exactly and have and cough up blue stuff uh <laughs> Um, let's talk about, uh, some of the acting and I don't know if it's, who's your, who's your favorite actor in this? Who? Well, the, um, the fact that you have to think about it, it's weird to me. Really? Uh, well, I mean, because there's favorite, like who did, I like the, the bad guy was really good. Was, yeah. He did the best. He was, uh, was the best. That's what I, I was really, asking. But I, I, and I, I know you idiot. I know, but I really, because I like. The, the lead usually yeah, yeah, yeah. and he did he, he well. did super he did really well and i liked how it was in order to start, like he wasn't your straight up like 
before I get superpowers, I want to do good for people and I want to help people. He was a, this selfish, you know, narcissistic kind of guy that learned. Even when he had his powers, he still was learning what that means and the responsibility and the whole wanting to help people. And then just the bad guy's origin story was it was really, really, really cool. And the different um, like uh, homages they pay, they play to like this. This was an they didn't do homage, pay homage to like superhero movies, but it was to comics. Mm-hmm. And uh, and someone who read comics, like you could see that just like they chose things. Like I really hoped when the the stuff burned down uh, towards the end, um, right when he got his scar, the bad guy, mm-hmm. his face. I was like, before they showed, it, I was like, he barely, he better have a face scar because that that's just what you do when you become a villain. You get mm-hmm. scars on your face, and it was perfect. He looked like Two Face, and then the mask looked like Scarecrow. It was just, it was that was done really well. And I have to say, before we go to, back to acting, I have all this in my head. Um, what I really like about it, and probably because of the budget, but it worked is they didn't necessarily show you you know the the the, the what the superhero power or the superpowers do or mm-hmm. what is happening they they you just know what's happening mm-hmm. and i think that's really i mean now with marvel movies and with a lot of the superhero movies and the 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 cgi they they are able to show you too but i think it takes you away from it and it's like when jaws was big um the scariest part was you didn't see the shark. You just heard it. Mm-hmm. You didn't have to show you the shark. Part of it because they couldn't afford you know, the CGI or the, the budget mm-hmm. to yeah. make the shark. But it worked. And I think the same thing with this. Is oh, like yeah. You don't have to show me everything. Like when they were doing fights and they kind of did a whole pan oh, around. Yeah. It was very it, – obviously, it's brilliant because obviously – Well you, done. You still get what they're doing. But obviously, stunts and CGI cost a lot of money to make it look good. Uh, and so obviously – I, I think they did a fantastic job um, all around. And then I, I, there's certain aspects to it that I thought they like exceeded their budget in, in, in a lot of aspects, even though like in some of the CGI you, you saw it, but like the end, the sets at the end, oh, the fire, the it was fans. amazing. Yeah. I was literally, I was like, this is an awesome like end scene, like this, mm-hmm. the, the fight scene. Um, the CGI was like when they lift something yeah. you know, in the air, that was kind of, that was kind of, like, you could tell, but um but uh, that, it didn't really take you out of it too much. It was still yeah. really, really cool. And um, I liked they show the Superman poster towards the end. And I thought that was really, really cool. I thought that was the best part. I yeah. hated the movie until then. <laughs> yeah, they, um, they, this is actually Molly Elm's first ever superhero film. That's crazy. First ever. That, that region. And you've seen, even though you guys on the channel, and I know you're going to be very upset when you hear this. Yeah, don't be he's mad seen, He's seen two other ones. We just never reviewed it real uh, fast quick review loved them yeah one made me angry one made me happy kumbalaji nights and he watched the great indian kitchen they're gonna be and very I'll, upset that they did not which get, one they're gonna be very upset one. that they did not get reviews for both those because those are very loved films uh because they're both amazing um but yeah the uh this is their first ever um superhero <laughs> film and i thought they did a very good job and I, I bet that was like a like a crazy risk to take, and mm-hmm. um, it shouldn't have worked, and it and it did. I think it, it did, and the fact that it like went straight to Netflix, and Netflix bought the rights for that, mm-hmm. I thought that that kind of showed you what it, what uh, how great it was, and just even just story, because like mm-hmm. a lot of it, I mean, it took a while for even the you know the antagonist and protagonist to fight to get the suit and all that stuff, but there was still a lot of good story in that chunk. Um, well, my one of my favorite parts is that they'd spend so much time on the villain's origin, and so you actually care for the villain uh, for a yeah. good while. And like, because I mean, it's pretty well known that Marvel has struggled with a lot of their villains and making good iconic villains, at least in their films. Obviously, they've done a few, but. Yeah, they, they've, they've, some, but... they've had some that they've struggled with uh, to like have people like really attached to that villain, like a Joker or whoever. Right. Um, or... Yeah. But, you know, they, uh, they I think they did a good job in this one of X. Like they built up this story. You kind of knew it in the beginning. I was like, obviously, this guy's probably going to go the villain. This guy's probably going to be the hero. Um, but you, I, I like the fact that they kind of took you on a journey and you cared and, and you, you you felt you felt for him and you just realized how just of a sad just human being he was and mm-hmm. the, that um he wasn't just trying to like you know hurt people he was just wanted to be loved which is everyone's thing um, uh what do you think about the score i uh, i, I love- 
<laughs> you can cuss on that. It's okay. I know. I know. <laughs> You got little ears all around me. I don't know who Clark's gonna wake up and go, "What's fun?" Um, I, I I love the score. The score was so good. It was yeah, so it was. cool. Made everything more badass. It was just really, it was. And I've always loved the scores in all these most of these movies. Uh, I feel like they're they're just really big. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, big and it was quirky. I thought it was like yeah. added a, a quirky element to it as well. Like if I had to compare it to a superhero movie, I mean, it, it reminded me a lot of the superhero movie, which is technically not, but Unbreakable, which mm. was M. Night Shyamalan, uh, Bruce Willis, Samuel Jackson. My, I always say that's my favorite superhero movie because it did something like this where it took something so huge. It's fantastic. It took something huge, and that one was homage to comics, but it took something huge and really – grounded it and broke it down um and that's what this movie did now this movie is a little more comedic and lighthearted. um there is a lot of especially at the end i mean the 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 way that the bad guy died was just like whoa like like, that came out of nowhere but it worked Mm -hmm. um that you know that was heavy but it was it was more of a comedic uh movie but it reminded me of aspects of a kind of just you know, a, a, a grounded character focus movie with superpowers. Like, yeah. Like Unbreakable. One of my favorite parts was the um, the song part where the little kid was performing and the our, our hero was beating up everyone oh, for like the so first time. Cool. That was so cool. <laughs> that was like that whole, yeah, that whole scene was really, really, really cool. And um, I still don't know how he hurt, uh, um, what do they call her, Bruce Lee? The Bruce Lee seemed fine when she got punched, and then now she's wearing a, a freaking neck thing. But uh, I love that scene. That scene yeah. was that scene was really good, and I yeah. liked her. I liked the characters were really like the because that's always a big thing in superhero movies is the um, supporting characters get shafted for the most because you have these two. I mean, the main reason you see the movie is to see the hero fight the villain. Push down your your thing. You're, you're slouch. <laughs> Okay, go. I might just be slipping. I was getting relaxed. <laughs> You're always the bottom. About this movie. Go ahead. Um, so the supporting characters, because yeah. in a lot of uh, superhero movies, th- those characters get kind of like pushed to the side, and you just the the story is more centered towards the hero and the villain. But I feel like like the the um, Bruce Lee, I thought was really cool, and they almost set up like a romantic thing, but they didn't really push it. Um, the little boy who kind of taught him how the superhero stuff and how he, the way he taught it was like, Oh yeah, these superheroes exist and they're in America. That's why America is still doing all right because they have Superman and Batman and we don't know how Batman got his powers. Maybe a cricket bat hit him or something. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was so cool. And, and the fact that Jason's origin story, and I like that his name is Jason cause I can, I can, and I like how it's spelled. Um, oh my God, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Maybe that's that's what it is. Uh, I uh, what was I what was I saying? Uh, the the kid in America and oh, his origin story was similar to Superman's, and the fact that um, the adoption thing that he he comes from, uh, you know, uh, his dad was this this center character. I mean, he wasn't a scientist like Jor-El. I don't want to get all into the the logistics of. of Superheroes, but uh, that'll be for our next. Born, that'll be for our next podcast. Superman was born on Krypton. That was a planet in the solar system outside of no. Um, but just that the whole adopt that that whole twist, I did not see coming. But find that he was he um, was the son of the the play the actor in the mm-hmm. in the beginning, and that he was adopted because that guy died, and then and it did take me a while to realize they were being played by the same people. And I was like, I think they're being played by the same person. <laughs> he actually, the the lead actor in this, uh, what? He grew out his hair and beard. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, um, I was going to guess. No, he uh, he did another film earlier this year that I that I really enjoyed. Um, it was it was called Kala? Okay, it's uh, another Malayalam film. It's it's not like superhero or anything, um, but it's. No, uh, this is the first one. So yeah, the first one. The superhero one. Um, you just told me that. But it's like he's very different. He plays like this almost 
I don't even know how to d- describe what he does, but I, I, I really enjoyed the film. Was it, uh, an, was it another Joseph movie? Uh, uh, might be. Uh, I, I know they did two together. I was doing my... It might be. No, it's not Basil Joseph. Okay. Um, so, but, yeah, and, and tomorrow is Tovino Thomas's 33rd birthday. Oh, happy so, birthday. Look at that. We're doing this. Happy birthday. birthday. Um, yeah, I, I figured you would like this film. Oh, no, it was so good. Um, <laughs> I, I jumped, it, like, it, it, it hooked me in. I mean, every every poop break, I, I was watching it. Um, How many it was, poop it was, breaks do you take? About five. <laughs> I think something's wrong with you. No, I'm regular. I'm very regular. <laughs> That's too regular. I have a lot of caffeine. So do I. <laughs> Yeah, something's I, wrong with you. Maybe, I, maybe something's wrong with you. Stop pointing fingers at other people. Why don't you take responsibility for your own actions? Um, but yeah, the uh, the Malayalam industry is is it's, it's 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 a great industry because they they focus on original. Yeah, explain good, to me good the difference. Stories. Explain to well, me the difference. Well, because it's Mal- in India. Yeah, Malayalam is from uh, the state of Kerala. Okay. Uh, and, and so it's basically think of like the United States. Yeah. And every single state had a different language and culture. Okay. Okay. And they have like, I, they have 29 or 39. It's one of those. Um, Thanks, but, uh, of states, but like they have, there's like different languages. They all have di- their own film industries. That's really cool. Um, so it's like if Texas had its own, which you never, you would never want to watch a film from Texas. <laughs> um, but <laughs> it's like, there might be some good ones. Like there's so many um, different because Telugu, Tamil, uh, Malayalam, Hindi, which is Bollywood. Um, so if it's Hindi, that's when it's Bollywood. Okay, and then Malayalam is Malayalam is is from the state of Kerala, and they all have like names. I don't know them because like there's a Kaliwood, Tollywood. I, I don't. I just looked it up. It's Mollywood. It's Mollywood. It is Mollywood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't. I don't have those names memorized. You just say it by language, really. Um, and that's kind of how it goes, but it's, it's, I think some of the ones that focuses most on good acting, good writing and good story. Um, and they all have great, um, stuff in their industries, but they consistently just, they don't really worry about putting out like a big, massive crowd pleasing films, even though I'm sure they have them, but that's not their main focus really. Uh, it, it's really just small, intimate stories. But I, I love that. Like, it's all set because the three that I've seen are set like really in the villages mm-hmm. um, with their cultures. Very different. I mean, different from Bol- some Bollywoods too. Some Bollywood mm-hmm. movies where they seem a little more um, similar to kind of the Western mm-hmm. um, side, but uh, that it's still these really. I mean, story about people, and so it's something that you, you can understand. Even the culture's different. You get the characters and the people. And then like a movie like this is that the, the budget didn't suffer or like the, the, the quality didn't suffer. Mm-hmm. The, the cinematography was so, was so good. And the sets are really good. And the CGI for what it was worth was still really good. Um, and then the score was, the, I loved it. There's this film that I think you would appreciate. Rick hated it, but that's okay. He's, he's dumb a lot of times. Well, listen, uh, he has a right to his own opinion. That's true, but this film he was completely wrong on, uh, which is a film called Love. Uh, oh, which is a Malayalam film. Okay, uh, it's. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm not going to tell you anything about. It. You don't have to watch it or review it or anything. But that was one of my favorite films of this past year. I, I really enjoyed it. Don't read any spoilers because it's a big. Can thing. I just look up the Love? Okay, it's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. There's another movie with um, uh, what's his name, the, the main guy in this movie, Tom, uh, Tavino Ka- Thomas. Kala. No, it was kilom- kilometers and kilometers. Oh, I don't know that one. It looks like a romantic comedy, but uh, the love interest is a, an American. Oh, okay. So I don't know if it'd be any good. Yeah, I don't either. You guys can tell me if that one would be me. Anyways, let Zach know what his next film he should watch and review, whether it's Malayalam or a different language uh, film, because you've only seen, I think, Malayalam and Hindi, correct? I think so. You haven't seen any Tamil or Telugu or anything? I don't think so. I think a good Tamil one that would be really good would be Super Deluxe. 
Oh yeah, what did I? I is that what's his name? Uh, Fafa is in it. He's not the main guy. Okay, it has a lot of people in it. I think I saw something about this because this is another Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. My wife keeps getting on Netflix, and I was like, "There's a lot of Indian, Indian movies popping." Uh, up. Since you've been watching, you're gonna get this. <laughs> I, got, you're gonna get I have it. a whole section that says Hindi films. Yeah, uh, that's a good one. So you guys okay. can let us know what uh, what should be his next one. Let us know. Anything else you'd like to say, was that? Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, just take care of people. Just love people. Okay? That's what I got out of this movie. Is, is It inspired me. And that's how you know it's a good superhero movie, if it inspires you. Because every time I get out of a superhero movie, for the most part, there's some movies I haven't. Justice League, I wanted to murder people. But the, most movies, I feel inspired. So. You're Fuck welcome. <laughs> 